Today, we're diving into a topic that has been sparking some very spicy debates in the software world. The end of observability as we know it. People are saying that dashboards are dead, that AI will fix your production incidents for you, and that soon we won't need to understand the systems we build because the agents will handle it all. But I want to offer a reality check. We're looking at why observability still matters. Maybe more than ever in the age of AI. We're going to break down why high cardinality is the technical term that will save your weekends, why your current dashboard might actually be lying to you, and how tools like Honeycomb are using AI not to replace you, but to give you life-changing tools when everything is on fire. So make sure to watch till the end because I will show you the exact workflow, starting with open telemetry and using AI agents that turn a three-hour debugging nightmare into a five-minute fix and how you can try it yourself for free. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Why do we even need observability if AI is so smart? There is a fantastic article from Honeycomb titled, AI isn't here to replace your dashboard yet. And it hints on something critical. We have spent decades building dashboards, but if we are being honest, most of them are actually just wall boards. They're pretty charts designed for a TV screen in an office that nobody looks at until it's too late. The problem is that traditional monitoring tools rely on metrics and aggregates, averages that smooth out the bumps. But in distributed systems, the bumps are where the bugs live. When you are debugging a microservices architecture, you aren't looking for a general trend. You are looking for a needle in a haystack. This is exactly the type of problem that Honeycomb is built to solve. And that's why I chose to partner with them on this video. They specialize in both high cardinality and high dimensionality data. While many systems struggle when you have millions of unique values in a field, high cardinality, or too many different fields, high dimensionality, Honeycomb handles both with ease. You can track every user ID, order ID, and request ID across your entire system and query them instantly without crashing your database. If you can't ask which specific users are having a bad time right now, you don't have observability. You just have monitoring. And this is where AI enters the picture. AI is helping us to deal with the scale. As Austin Parker wrote, it's the end of observability as we know it because the volume of data is now too big for us to navigate manually. So we need a launch pad that is not just a static dashboard. Let me paint a scenario to show you what this looks like in practice. Imagine you're an engineer and you get paged. Latency is spiking. In the old world, you would stare at 50 different charts trying to pattern match with your eyeballs. In the new world, you can use something like Honeycomb Canvas, which is an AI-guided workspace. It acts like an investigator. You can literally ask it a question in plain English, like, why did checkout latency spike yesterday? What happens next is really interesting. The AI translates your question into a query, runs it against that high-fidelity, high-cardinality data that we talked about, and visualizes the result. It might come back and tell you that latency is high, but only for users on a specific version of the platform, attempting to purchase items with gift wrap selected. A human may take hours to find that specific correlation. The AI finds it in seconds because it can just scan every dimension at once. And as Austin points out in his piece, fast and close to right, the AI doesn't need to be 100% perfect to be useful. It just needs to be close to right, to point you in the right direction so you can solve the puzzle. So this brings me to a concept from Charity Majors that I really love. The difference between disposable code and durable code. We are entering an era where AI allows us to generate a massive amount of disposable code really fast. But the durable code, the stuff that runs the banks, the hospitals, the checkout flows, that needs to be reliable. To maintain reliable systems when we have too much AI-generated code entering the pipeline, we have to have a feedback loop that is tighter than ever. And this is where it gets even more interesting with the Model Context Protocol, or MCP. Honeycomb recently launched 
uh, support for MCP, which you can think of as a standard way for AI assistants to connect to data sources. So this allows your AI agents like Flawed or an agent in your IDE to actually read your production data. This is the ultimate use case. You are in your IDE writing code. You can ask your AI agent, how does this function perform in production right now through Honeycomb MCP server? And the agent reaches out to Honeycomb, looks at the real telemetry and tells you, actually, this function is hitting a timeout in 5% of cases. So you are debugging with production data without ever leaving your editor. That is a completely different level of an engineering workflow. Let me show you what that looks like. I've written a simple script here called a honeycomb sender.py. Look at this block right here. Instead of just logging error 500, we're attaching attributes to every span. We are attaching app.userID, app.requestID, and even app.cartValue. And in this script, we are simulating a pool of 10,000 unique users. Most monitoring tools would choke on this and charge you a fortune for custom metrics. And this is super intuitive for Honeycomb to handle. Now let's run it. I have exported my Honeycomb API key using the standard open telemetry environment variables. I run Python honeycomb sender.py. You can see is generating traffic, some 200s and some random 500 errors. We switch over to Honeycomb, the data is flowing. Now, in the old world, you would start building a dashboard. You would create a widget for error rate and another one for latency, but we're not doing that. We're going to use Canvas, Honeycomb's AI guided workspace. I click the Canvas icon. Remember, I have thousands of users in this data set. I want to know exactly who is having a bad time. I'm just going to ask it in plain English. Which users are experiencing 500 errors? So watch this. It didn't give me a generic error rate. It automatically ran a query, grouping by user ID, and filtering the status code 500. I can instantly see the specific user IDs that are hitting that bug. I can ask it, show me the slowest endpoints. What is the average card value by endpoint? Also, find traces where card value is greater than 400 or anything else. So how is Honeycomb different from the other tools that you might be used to? Most tools were designed for monolithic applications where you could predict the failures. They aggregate data to save you money, which destroys the context you need to debug complex failures. Honeycomb is designed to help engineering teams debug live applications, especially those built with microservices. It helps the raw data so you can ask new questions that you didn't think of when you build the dashboard. When things break in a way they've never been broken before, which happens all the time in distributed systems, you need that raw data. I am personally excited about this because it shifts the role of the engineer. AI isn't here to take away the job of understanding the system. It helps us manage the complexity so we can focus on the durable code that runs the world. It enhances the human context versus trying to replace it. If you want to try this out and future-proof your engineering workflow, here is the playbook that I recommend. First, get a free Honeycomb account. It's the best way to actually touch this technology and see the difference between high cardinality, high dimensionality observability, and standard monitoring. Step one is to point your open telemetry libraries to Honeycomb. If you aren't using Otel yet, it should be. It's the industry standard for collecting telemetry. Step two, use Canvas. Instead of building a wall board that nobody looks at, use the AI guided workspace to answer questions like which endpoints are most used or where are we making too many database calls? And step three, if you are feeling adventurous, hook up Honeycomb MCP to your AI editor. Give your coding assistant eyes and ears in production so you can catch issues before they merge. I've dropped the link to sign up for free Honeycomb account in the description below. If you are tired of debugging by guessing, or if you just want to see what modern observability stack looks like, go and check it out. 
As always, if you have questions about observability, open telemetry, or how AI is changing DevOps, add them to the comments. I would love to hear what you think. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.